Burlington Township struck early in Wednesday's meeting with Morristown. Kevin Stewart walked to lead off the game, advanced on a pass ball, stole third, and scored on a fielder's choice. It was 1-0 until the third, when Maximus Martin got on via an infield hit for the Quakers. Martin stole second and third, then scored the tying run on a passed ball. But that was all Morristown could muster on Burlington Township pitcher Chris Caponis, who held them to just three hits over five innings and struck out seven. I just my fastball away, and my changeup was really getting them. So I was going at them like I would start off with a changeup sometimes, and I would mix it up with fastball, and I would just do whatever I had, like, and then I would mix it a slider too. Burlington Township took the lead in the fourth inning on a wild pitch, a bases loaded walk, and an error. I don't think we showed up to play, which is disappointing. Uh, they're a good team. Uh, they were actually up to play us, but we, we didn't take care of the baseball today. So that was disappointing on our end. I thought I thought Lynch threw the ball well to start the game, and we just made too many mistakes, and they, they capitalized on them. We just didn't have the energy and just didn't play, play our game today. The Falcons left the bases loaded in the fourth inning and stranded seven runners over the first four, but a breakthrough finally came in the fifth when Kyle Stoner played at a run with an RBI fielder's choice. What I think we need to work on is hitting the ball with men on base. They, they made some errors today. Uh, they, they gave us a couple of runs. We did capitalize um, on a couple situations uh, with my leadoff hitter, Kevin Stewart, getting two hits with men on base. Uh, we have to do a better job than that. Other than that, I thought um, our defense and our pitching was outstanding today. I think that was the key. Stewart delivered in the fifth and sixth innings for the Falcons. His fifth inning single gave Burlington Township a 7-1 lead, though it was actually the first RBI hit of the game. He only got one RBI out of it, though. The next run scored on a throwing error. He did manage to pick up two with his hit in the sixth. I'm going up there every time looking to mash. My mindset at the plate is to go up there and do some damage every time. I try and put myself in the best opportunity to help my team out. I love the fastball, but anything in the zone, I feel like I can do something with it. Uh, I think it was a fastball um, up and in, and I just put a barrel on it. That's all I can ask for. Stewart stole two more bases, his second and third of the game, and a single by Ryan Capriotti brought him home for the final run as the Falcons won going away 12-1 in six innings. This is amazing. Like, coming into today, coming in, uh, losing the first game home, now beating them away, and then tomorrow we're coming back with another big game, and we're going to carry it into that. From Dane Fonte Memorial Field in Morristown, this is John Lewis.